have published a paper uh, where we have shown a very unique molecular mechanism based on the regulation of brain matrix metalloproteinases that actually helps arteriogenesis uh, in the brain. So it helps develop new blood vessels that will come irrigate the stroke affected site. And the data first came from dogs, uh, which have clearly larger brains. Um, I say larger brain because distances matter uh, for irrigation, distances matter because the dog you know, brain is more closer to the size of human. And then we went back to the rodent, we could reproduce it and the rodent helps us understand the pathways. So we now have a knockout animal where to go don't help. You know, so in order to do that, so you have to be able to, through the pathway it helps, you have to knock it out and you have to show that it doesn't help anymore. Then you know what pathway. So we have that and you will see shortly those will be coming up. We also have another major development that we got a lot of pressure on is that, well, you know, you have published experimentally that stroke you have protected in healthy animals. You know, we'd like to see data on diabetic animals getting stroke. Okay, so it's much more complicated. Their vasculature is much more diseased, so to speak. So we just concluded that study now and we have data that tocotrienol equally protects in diabetic uh, situation. It's because stroke doesn't, it does sometimes, but most commonly doesn't happen in a, in a, in a healthy human. It has, it happens in people with other comorbidities. So we have just concluded that. So things at our end look, uh, you know, very interesting. And you see, I'm not just sitting here doing a two year old study or something, it's a 20 year worth of work. Would love to see this go through the final phase. So the phase three trial is what I'm looking forward to. No, no, so it was lesser, far lesser, but it was so few subjects that got another stroke, you cannot do statistics. So our, our, let me recall, ours that got stroke were, you know, like seven out of 150, and it's supposed to be 15 out of 150. So there was a 50% less of what we were anticipating based on other people's data. And I'm quietly, I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm just more happy to have, I mean, those, that's a part of my family, those 150 patients, you know. So the lesser of them get stroke, it's good for me. Bad news is I don't have numbers to now do statistics because I didn't get stroke, which is good. That will come out in the phase three trial because at that point you're dealing with thousands. So whatever small number is much bigger. Absolutely, traumatic brain injury. Traumatic brain injury, there is a significant Im implication of uh, glutamate. And uh, we don't do traumatic brain injury because we are sort of locked into stroke. All our resources are locked into stroke. But if somebody did, I would be happy to advise them. And yes, you're right, you know, traumatic brain injury would be a great place to look. Uh, yeah, because glutamate does play a key role. Yeah, thank you.